The Fairfield Museum is located at 231 South Congress Street in Winsboro, South Carolina. It is open to visitors Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. and again on Saturday from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. S.M. Byers, a Union prisoner at Columbia's Camp Asylum, was so moved by the news of Savannah's fall, he wrote a poem, Sherman's March to the Sea. Another prisoner, J.O. Rockwell, set the poem to music. The Camp Glee Club surprised Byers one day with the performance of the song, and it was an instant hit. Within a week, a prisoner named Tower, who was being sent back north, hit a copy of the song in his wooden leg, and it was soon a hit with the general public. Camp Asylum was evacuated as Sherman's troops approached, but Byers and another man, Divine, hid in the rafters of the hospital and made their escape. The two men stood on a high perch to welcome Sherman's army, and someone pointed them out as escaped prisoners. Sherman called them over to shake their hands, and Divine gave Sherman a copy of the song. Two days later, Sherman had Byers brought to his tent, where he told him how much he liked the song, and appointed Byers to his staff. Byers lived to the age of 95, and upon his death in 1933, he was the last surviving member of General Sherman's staff. The volunteers of the Fairfield Historical Society researched this story and were able to obtain a copy of the song to place on exhibit for the 150th anniversary of Sherman's March Through Fairfield. Here is volunteer Mary Claire Johnson performing the piece on a violin as it likely sounded in 1865. If you wish to contact the museum, you may reach us by telephone at 803-635-9811 or via email fairfieldmus at truevista.net or fairfieldmus at fairfield.sc.gov. If you wish to contact the Genealogy Research Room, that email address is fairfieldgenealogy at truevista.net.